Wrestling is a live special presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. And so we kind of take a mini vacation this week. Mm, I get the mail. Close enough. And so instead of doing 49 Baseball Replay, which will be back with you next Monday night, live at 7.30 for a doubleheader Eastern and 4.30 Pacific, we had a request for an NCAA tournament game, maybe the most famous one in the history of Vermont anyway. The first round matchup in the 2005 uh, NCAA tournament between the Vermont Catamounts and the Syracuse Orange from the Worcester Centrum, whatever it's called this week. In Worcester, in Worcester, Massachusetts, Syracuse, the defending national champions, Vermont, making one of their, well, at the time, rare appearances in the NCAAs. And Vermont would upset Syracuse on a last-second three-pointer by T.J. Sorrentine. So that's a setup for you as we get ready for an afternoon of college basketball right here on Retro Sports Network. <laughs> And why didn't... Oh, because you know why? Well, we'll be back right after this message because Ron hasn't done basketball in a while and the screen isn't set up. Ugh. you think I had this figured out by now. No. For those of you who think I do a perfect job. Ha! No. Not even close. All right, let's try this again. Back out to the Worcester Centrum for this one between the UVM Catamounts and the Syracuse Orange. How you doing, Tribe fan? This is the game that he requested. Starters for UVM, Sorrentine and Han in the backcourt. TJ, a 18-point-a-night score, and he loves his three-point plays. Jermaine Mopajila is the small forward for UVM. Climbs is the power forward. And Taylor Coppenrath is the America East Player of the Year and is the center. And by the way, how you doing, Buck? Vermont finally put a kid into the NBA. That is, can I click? David Hahn for UVM. And this game is from the Worcester Centrum. Therefore, why you get the UMass court. Jerry McNamara and Josh Pace are the backcourt for Syracuse. McCroskey and Peter Warwick, the forwards, and fourth. Craig Forth is the center. So we're ready now. Tom Brennan, the coach of Vermont. Jim Beheim for Syracuse. It's tossed up. It goes to Syracuse, and they'll get the first possession of the ball game. They go from left to right in the orange and white. Warwick lays it up, misses. The rebound controlled by Coppenrath is first. And Syracuse, of course, comes out in a 2 1 2 zone. Sorrentine walks it across the line. Pick and roll to Coppenrath. But first, Mopajila looks to see if there's anybody open. It's really slow. To Hine. Back to Mopajila. They play back and forth. Sorrentine. Back to Hain. 
climbs. Will he take the shot instead? He over to Coppenrath, who feeds it inside over Sally Forth. And no, rebound is going to be controlled by Coppenrath. Gets his own rebound. Puts back up the runner and hits it. 2 nothing UVM. 19-18 to go, first half. Now McNamara. Vermont, not very good inside. McNamara dribbles, penetrates, and scores. So 2-2 two, two the score. Just the start of things here in the first half. Play is for Coppenrath. Sorrentine. Foul line extended left. Feeds it over to Mopajila into Coppenrath. And Taylor, turnaround runner. Yes, he's got four. And it's 4-2 to two UVM early on. McNamara, pick and roll with Warwick. A little five-footer, and that's good. And we're knotted up at four. So 4-4 four, four the score, two minutes in. And the plan is to feed Coppenrath. Climbs from Sorrentine into Coppenrath in the lane. And fourth with a steal. Will Syracuse fast break? Yes, they do. McNamara to Warwick. Wait, good outside shooter. Spin drive. You can drive on Vermont. Warwick off the glass. No. Fourth with a rebound. And he will... Go with the opposite hand over Coppenrath. Climbs comes in. That's going to be a foul on Climbs. And fourth will go to the line for two. I'm fine, thank you. So fourth is 61% free throw shooter. First one misses. Oh, it's good. Around the rim and in. Second one from fourth. That will miss. And Coppenrath gets the rebound, and Vermont will set it up. And again, Coppenrath on the pick and roll is the call. He lays it up off the glass, and that's good. He's got all six points for UVM. 6-5, Vermont. McCroskey down to Warwick. And Klein strips him with it. Will UVM run the break? Yes, they will. Sorrentine and Klein's on the break. McCroskey and McNamara. Klein's. What's he going to do? Cross court to Sorrentine. TJ on the paint. Up and good. Climbs with the assist, and it's now 8 to 5 UVM. Now McCroskey to McNamara. Foul line extended right. Into Warwick. Warwick works over Climbs, and he makes the easy basket. 8 7. UVM by 1. Climbs now. Baseline left, shot no. Coppenrath and McNamara fight for the rebound. Taylor's got it. Taylor will work the baseline. He's going to go, he's going to pass it. That's stolen by Jerry McNamara. Let's see what Syracuse does here. McNamara on the break. He's going to take it all the way. He fires, and that's good. So Syracuse now up by one. He hits the scooper, and it's nine to eight here in the first half. So Sorrentine across the line surveys the situation. Going to go for Mopajila. Coppenrath to Mopajila just outside the paint. McCroskey reaches in, and that's a foul on McCroskey. That's his first, and that's a non-shooting foul. Both teams with one shot, and this would be where the TV timeout would be, but the computer doesn't really like that. 14.51 to go, first quarter, or first half, rather, 9-8, Syracuse. So Mopajila will inbound the ball. No changes for Vermont. From across the way, Syracuse in a 2-1-2. Coppenrath has it outside, 19 on the 35 clock. They pass it around, and now Sorrentine. Going to take a jumper from the perimeter. He shoots. No. Rebound Warwick. That's his first. Syracuse will walk it up. McNamara. Over to Pace. Back to McNamara. Inside to Warwick. Back out to McNamara. Jerry. Syracuse working some clock. McCroskey now. Baseline left. Over to McNamara. Syracuse waiting. He fires into Warwick. Warwick is guarded by Climbs. Warwick under the glass. No. Rebound. Oh, Climbs with a foul. That's his second. Vermont's going to have to go to the bench. 
So Warwick, a 69% or 68% free throw shooter. First one is good, and it's 10 8 Syracuse. That's his fifth point of the game. Josh Duell will come in. No other changes for Vermont. Duel, two fouls now on Climbs, and Warwick hits them both, and it's 11 to 8. Syracuse by three. There's a timeout on the floor. 14.01 to go in the first half. Here from the Worcester Centrum, it's the Syracuse Orange 11, the Vermont Catamounts 8. As I try to get a drink. If you're looking for someone who does a great job streaming basketball on a regular basis, look no further than Friday nights at 8 Eastern on YouTube. For David Little and his NBA league action from the early 70s, he's right now in the playoffs, but he does a game for you every Friday night on Dave Little along with his own channel, along with Heartland Wrestling on YouTube. So check that one out. No changes for Vermont. Mopajila to inbound across the way. Wants to find Sorrentine from the foul line. McNamara defends him. Sorrentine shoots. That's no good. Warwick with the rebound. That's his second. And Syracuse will go the other way. Pace. Foul line extended right. Back out to McCroskey. McCroskey. Jumper. No, Three-pointer. No. Does he get his own rebound? Yeah, he got his own rebound in the paint. How about that? Passes out to McNamara. And Syracuse sets back up again. Paints drives over Hain. He shoots and scores. 13-8. Syracuse by 5. 12-45. First half. Sorrentine's going to call his own number for a 3. He fires. That's no good. Mopajila with a rebound. Sets it back out to Sorrentine. And UVM sets it back up. They're going to go over to Hain on the right side for a three. That's the plan anyway. Not a great three-point shooter. That's a miss. Coppenrath with the board. That's his fifth, and Duell will commit the loose ball foul. So UVM gets plenty of looks, but nothing going in. And with 11.53 to go in the first half, it's Syracuse ball. I'm out of practice for basketball. I hope this sounds fine. McNamara. Into Warwick in the paint. Warwick. Over duel for the dunk. He's got eight. And Syracuse leads by seven. And right now, it's all Syracuse. Oh, Coppenrath from Sorrentine. He gets inside the paint. Little runner. Yes, first basket and 5-10 for Vermont. It's a five-point game. Syracuse, a 10 nothing run shattered here. McNamara, long three. No, it's going to be a Vermont rebound. It's going to be Hain, his first. And UVM will run the floor. Sorrentine to Mopajila. Mopajila will pass it over to Sorrentine in the paint. TJ up off the glass. No. Wow. Coppenrath will get the rebound. That's his fifth. Coppenrath. We'll take it back up himself. He's up and good. A dunk and it's 15 to... That's, he's hit all five and it's a three-point game. Now Warwick the other way. Off the glass? No. UVM on a bit of a run, but he's fouled by Duel. And that's a second on Josh in just a couple moments. And Warwick goes to the line for two. Thanks for that. So 15 to 12. UVM hanging with them here with 9.56 to go in the first half. Both teams are over from the foul line or from the three point line. Warwick misses the first. UVM will try to start getting some benches. It's Hakeem Warwick, not Peter. A 55% shooter in real life. All right. So Schneider moves into power forward. Coppenrath will stay in the game. Jensen at the point. Vermont's Kyle Saplicki and Tim McCrory. As Vermont will rest their starters. Rebound is control as Rorick misses them both. Keith Saplicki with a rebound. 
And he'll actually get the shot call. Foul line extended right. Saplicki cut off by fourth. He tries to penetrate. He misses. The ball is loose on the floor. But fourth with a foul, and Saplicki will get a pair. Peter, play, yeah, football for Florida State. Tells you just how old I am, right? <laughs> it's Kyle, not Keith, and he's a freshman. I don't know. He's from Essex Junction, just up the road a bit. 78% free ball or free throw shooter. Fool's ball for Florida State. Or fool's ball. Other one works. So Plicky hits the first, and it's a two-point game. So Plicky misses the second, and fourth has it fall right into his hands. Now McCroskey, foul line extended left, takes the jumper and hits it, 17-13. UVM keeping it close. And McCrory fouled him. That's the fifth on UVM, and McCroskey will get the old-fashioned three. Duel comes in for Coppenrath. Vermont hoping their starters can get rested pretty soon. Climbs is ready to go, but Tom Brennan will hold him with the two fouls as long as he can. McCroskey misses the freebie. And McCrory gets the rebound. Now Vermont. Jensen. The backup point guard. Will take the pass it to Suplicky at the foul line. Back out to Jensen. Knight to Schneider. Does he want a three? Nope. They pass it around again. Now Jensen, 18 footer. Outside jumper. And for, as he tries to drive, fourth blocks his path. And that is no good. And the ball goes back to half court, for goodness sakes. But fourth with a foul, and Jensen goes to the line for two. And I imagine fourth will go to the go to the bench in a moment. 8.51 to go first half. And Jensen is a coin flip at the line. Sorrentine can come back in, but he'll have to do it after the free throws. Third foul for Syracuse. Jensen misses the first. Nichols is in for McCroskey at the small forward. And Roberts replaces Sally Forth at center. Actually, it's not. I shouldn't call him Sally. That's not very nice. So Syracuse goes to the bench for the first time. Jensen's second one is no good. He misses them both. Roberts with the rebound just in the ball game, And Syracuse starts up the other way. Now that is Roberts in the paint from McNamara. He went over to Warwick. He loses the ball, Hakeem does, but he gets it back against Schneider off the glass, and that is no good. Roberts with the rebound, but Schneider is hit for the foul, and that's a six on Vermont. So 8.28 to go, and Warwick has been busy from the line. He's played all 11 minutes and 32 seconds, and he's two for four. The in-game box score, of course, presented by DigitalDice.com. And although it says 2004, it really is a 2004-2005 teams. First one from Hakeem. No. So Sorrentine and Climbs get back on the floor. Climbs with two fouls. 8.28 to go in the first half. Work misses the second one. Duel with the board. And Syracuse comes out in a man-to-man. -man. Sorrentine is going to try for the long jumper. Saplicki. Back to Sorrentine. Top of the back over to Saplicki. They wait. Now Duel. Cross court to Sorrentine. TJ for a long three. No. Rebound climbs. His first. And he will... Set it back up. Vermont wants to walk it. Take their time. Sorrentine again for the three. That's the call. TJ standing there. Duel buried in the corner. Sorrentine for three, and he finally hits. So it's a one-point game as Sorrentine is on the board. He's got five. Other way, Warwick. Baseline left. And Vermont is smothering him, and he has four Syracuse into a timeout. 7-18 to go in the first half.
Heen and Coppenrath come back on the floor for Vermont. It's a one-point game. This one has been everything you'd expect it to be. Syracuse shooting 63% from the floor. Vermont 46. Rebounds 11-6 in favor of the Cats. Turnovers just two. Vermont, their next foul puts Syracuse in the bonus. Nichols, and right in front of me, inbounds it for Syracuse. Pace on the perimeter. His jumper is good. Wide open, and he's got four. So 19-16 Syracuse. 7-09 first half. Hoppenrath in the game. That's where they're going to go. McCrory kind of climbs. Feeds Taylor in the paint. Hoppenrath, point blank range over Roberts. No, wiggled out. Roberts with the rebound. Syracuse in a half court. Roberts out to pace. Top of the foul line. Over to Roberts in the box. Roberts, a little five foot runner. No. Coppenrath with a rebound. That's his sixth. Vermont will walk it up. Hain on the point this time around. Sorrentine on a three is what the call. Coppenrath way out of the box. Over to Sorrentine. Foul line. Well, right side, and he hits the three. That's two in a row for TJ. And Vermont has tied this game at 19. McNamara into Hakeem Rorick. Over to Pace on the foul line. Back to McNamara outside. Again to Warwick. Warwick. He's going to try to lay up over Climes with two fouls, and, and Hakeem hits it. He's got 10. So 5.45 to go. First half. A tight one here at Worcester. It's not the Mullen Center. It's the Worcester Centrum. Vermont doesn't like what they see, but they're going to force a Coppenrath in the paint. Five and a half to go. Being guarded by Roberts. From Sorrentine, Coppenrath does a spin move on the paint. No. Rebound Syracuse. There's Nichols. Loose ball with it. Nichols has it. Will Syracuse run? They will run. Roberts. Does he find anybody? Goes cross court to Hakeem in the paint. Drives. No. Rebound. Hain, his second, and Vermont will go in a half-court offense. They can tie or go ahead. TJ's going to try the hot hand. He's in his last two. No, but Climes gets the rebound. Ball's batted around. Climes tosses it, tosses it out to Sorrentine. Sorrentine is the only open shooter, but they'll take some time off the clock. Now Climes, he's going to shoot from outside. No, he's going to drive in the paint over baseline over Warwick. And over to Coppenrath. Back out to Climes. Climes, shoot, scores! It's Coppenrath. Pardon me, it was Coppenrath, not Climes. And we're tied at 21. Now Warwick the other way. His 10-footer, no. Roberts with a rebound. That's his third of the game. Now McNamara, Nichols inside. Nichols will. Little rainbow just outside the paint, no. And that is a foul on Climes. That's his third. And so he'll have to go. 401 to go. 344, rather. And Vermont will have to make some changes as Syracuse goes in the one and one. Good choice for a game tribe fan. This one's been very tight. Nichols. Demetrius Nichols. Is a 72% free throw shooter. And the first one's good. Brian Schneider goes in for Climes. And Mopajila back on the floor. So Vermont, four starters. McCroskey and fourth still on the bench for Syracuse. McNamara and Warwick has played the entire game. Nichols' second one is good, and it's 23-21 Syracuse. Timeout on the floor. 3.44 to go in the first half. A good one. 23-21, Syracuse. So Mopajila inbounds from across the way. Schneider wants the three. See if they can get it to him. Sorrentine, top of the key. Over to Schneider in the corner. Schneider. From three, yes, and UVM leads by one. Now McNamara 
in the paint to pace. Back out to McNamara. Finds Hakeem Warwick. On the block over Sorrentine. It's a mismatch. No, sir. But Pace gets the rebound. But no, Mopajila hit him on the head. And that's a two-shot foul. Mopajila says, I'm sorry. Hakeem says, that's all right. No blood. Still a foul. And that's eight on Vermont. 24-23. Pace is not sad either. Warwick has 10 points in the first half, along with two boards and an assist. And he will miss the first. Vermont happy with who they have on the floor. And Syracuse won't make any changes either. Warwick hits the second, and we're tied at 24. Now, Sorrentine, top of the foul line. Guarded tightly by McNamara. Coppenrath. They're going to do a pick and roll here. Back to TJ. TJ will take the foul line. Shot and hit. So TJ's got 10. And Vermont pulls ahead again by 2. 26-24. Pace the other way. Into Nichols. Nichols over Mopajila in the paint. Turnaround jumper is good. And Syracuse has tied the ball game. Two and a half to go first half. Hoppenrath puts up his hand. Sorrentine says, I'll fidge you, big boy. Sorrentine into Coppenrath over Roberts. And Roberts will get the jumper. And the possession arrow belongs to Vermont. With 2 on 9 to go in the first half. The arrow goes the other way. It will be Vermont ball. So Mopajila will inbound it. McNamara is on Coppenrath, so they'll try to do the mismatch here. Taylor in the paint, off the glass, and no. But the rebound is controlled by Schneider. And Vermont will get a second crack at the Schneider with a short runner. And that's blocked by Roberts. And that is controlled by Warwick. Gets the rebound. Here comes Syracuse. 157 to go. Warwick. Off the glass over Schneider and in, and Syracuse goes up by two. So it wasn't a fast break, but the advantage was there for Syracuse. Two-point game, closing stages of the first half. And Syracuse is a tired bunch. Sorrentine wants his own three. 25 feet out, NBA three, no. Rebound Coppenrath. That's his seventh, and he will... Trying to follow up with Roberts on him. And that's blocked by Roberts. So it's Roberts' second block of the game. But he blocked it right in the arms of Taylor Coppenrath. Coppenrath will drive the baseline here. No. But again, another rebound by Coppenrath. How many bites of the cherry are they going to get? Coppenrath will pass it out and around. Schneider wants another three. Sorrentine. Oh, Schneider is injured. But he'll stay in the game with 106 to go. Sorrentine will take his own three. Stands at the top. Shoot scores! TJ has 13. Another NBA three. And Sorrentine makes it 29 28. Pace into Roberts. Dumps it off inside over Coppenrath, and he'll hit. And Syracuse goes up by one. And Coppenrath will hack him. First foul on Taylor, and so lineup changes. McCroskey and Nichols go in. McNamara stays in the game. Pace is exhausted, and Warwick will sit for the first time. Roberts to finish off the old-fashioned three. Yes. So 31-29, the shot clock is off. 26-8 and eight on the clock. Schneider wants another three. Nichols will guard him. Right side, baseline. Ball is loose. Schneider gets it back. Three, no. Rebound by Wright. His first eight seconds to go. Nichols up over Schneider. Jumper, and that's good. Is that the half? Coppenrath gets called for a goaltend, and that is the half. So they go to the locker rooms. We've played 20 minutes here in Worcester. This one has been all that in a bag of chips. It's Syracuse 33, Vermont 29.
29. We'll be back after this. Well, Tribe fan wanted this game, and he picked a very good one to do it. Vermont down by four at the half. Sorrentine, three of seven from three-point land, and 13 points. Coppenrath, six of 12 with nine rebounds. He's got 12 points. Vermont's only been the line four times. Saplicki and Jensen, they got the bench. Yeah, it really is Sorrentine and Coppenrath, but that's the way it is. Climbs with the foul trouble hurts. Hopefully he cannot pick up his fourth for a bit. Although Schneider is not shy of taking three-pointers. They've taken 29 shots from the field, and Sorrentine and Coppenrath at 24. Thank you, John. Syracuse, Jerry McNamara played the entire first half. But again, Hakeem Warwick is the offensive threat, and he's got 13. Nichols off the bench with six. Syracuse has only used eight men. Vermont has used ten. Vermont, four of eight inside. That's primarily from Taylor. Syracuse, eight of 11. Vermont, one for four outside. They are not a jumper team, and neither is Syracuse. They are a three-point team, and TJ is three of seven. They're four of ten overall. Syracuse has done the dribble drive three times and scored, and Vermont... Is two for five on second chances. Syracuse has not had any. Leading scorer for Syracuse is Work. And leading rebounder is Work and Roberts with three. So Vermont has worked better on the glass. But they need some people to get open. Still, it's a four point game as we start the second half. So Sorrentine and Hain. Mopajila and Climes and Coppenrath. Now Climes has three fouls. Duel has two. Fourth for Syracuse has two fouls and McCroskey has one. So it'll be Syracuse. It'll be Vermont ball to start the second half. Arrow goes with Syracuse. Vermont going from right to left. We don't change halves here. Vermont in the green and gold. Syracuse in the white and orange. Sorrentine going to go outside here for the three. Stands at the top of the circle. Hain, Sorrentine, another NBA three. Just outside, 20-footer, no. Rebound fourth, and here comes Syracuse. Off the rim and out. And fourth gets called for his third foul. So he goes over the top. Jim Beheim kind of whines about it. Tom Brennan says, I'll take it. And as we said at the, at the half, they need somebody to get open. Well, Mopajila is open on the outside. Baseline left. Climbs to Sorrentine. Works the triangle. Sorrentine takes the three. He shouldn't have done that. He wasn't open. Coppenrath with the rebound, and Coppenrath gets called for a second foul. And this time, Tom Brennan goes to TJ and said, You had a man open. You got to let them take the shot. You can't beat them by yourself. 1913 to go. McNamara. And Sorrentine gets called for reaching in. And Brennan is real unhappy now. That's two on Vermont here in the second half. McCroskey right next to me. Inbounds it. Pace. Foul line extended right. McNamara. Jerry. Long three. Good. And it's 36-29 Syracuse. He's got seven. Vermont passes it around. Scoppenrath guarded by fourth. They're trying to draw the fourth on four. Fourth for fourth. Sounds Latin to me. Coppenrath will spin around the paint off the glass and good. So 36-31. Syracuse by five. 
McNamara into Warwick the other way. They hurry. The Firth of Fourth. That's right in Scotland, eh? Rebound. The shot is missed. The ball's on the flow. Climbs with his fourth, and he's got to come out. And Hakeem hits the first. He's got 14 now. And Syracuse by six. Josh Duell will come in for climbs. He's going to sit for a while. Warwick misses the second. Hain with the board. Vermont needs to settle down. They trail by six. Sorrentine works it up the right side. Doesn't like what he sees. They pass it around. Duel. Baseline left for a three. Josh Duel. McCroskey and Mopajila are yapping at each other. Duel hits the three, and it's a three point game. McNamara into Hakeem. Warwick over Duel. They're trying to draw the foul there, and Hakeem hits it. And it's 39 34. Hakeem's got 16. Sorrentine will be turned loose for a three. A long three, and that's blocked by Warwick. But only to Coppenrath, who blocked it right in the hands of Taylor Coppenrath. He's got the double-double. Taylor trying to draw that foul on fourth. Lays it off the glass. No. Rebound, Mopajila. McCroskey are pushing and shoving for it. Jermaine passes it out to Sorrentine, and TJ will set it back up. They get a fresh clock. They don't need to hurry. 16-24 to go in the ballgame. TJ's got it. Going to do a dribble and drive off of McNamara. Pick and roll. He collides with McNamara. Reverse layup. No! He missed the easy layup. But McNamara will foul him, and TJ gets two from the line. So Vermont... Gets the easy one here. Got to call that second top team foul on Syracuse. Always good to try to score points when the clock isn't running. He hits the first. Rolled around and in. 39-35. That's 14 for TJ. Second one up. And it's good. So Vermont has only had six free throw attempts. They've hit three. 39-36, the orange by three. McNamara, into pace. Baseline jumper for Warwick. And it's blocked by Duel. Does he score his own rebound? Mopajila gets the rebound. He fought with fourth for it. UVM on a goal rush. Three on three, Jermaine. Over to Sorrentine. Syracuse slowed it down. Sorrentine, a long three. That's a terrible shot. Rebound by Pace. And Syracuse, his number is the other way. Fourth. Over to McNamara. Vermont back to defend. J Jerry, long three. No. And that exchange went nowhere. Hain with a rebound. And now Vermont will go in the half court. Sorrentine. I'm going to feed Coppenrath inside. Fourth and McNamara are also in the paint, but Coppenrath off the glass and good, and it's a one-point game. So pace outside the other way. Hakeem Work. Sorrentine defends it. Sean is missed. Mopajila with a rebound, his fourth, and Vermont's got numbers. Sorrentine and Coppenrath make the run back on McNamara and pace. TJ. Will take it all the way, and no, he missed it. He raised the runner, and Pace has fouled him, so TJ goes to the line for two. And Vermont can pull ahead. And if you're wondering if Hain, Mopajila, and Climbs have scored yet in this game, the answer would be no. 31 of UVM's points have come from Sorrentine and Coppenrath. And TJ misses the first. If that's what kills Vermont in this game, they are three of seven from the line. Second one is good. We're tied up at 39. 
Sorrentine has 16. Coppenrath has 16. Warwick has 16. You can still find 16. No, that's 17, isn't it? Never mind. The joke doesn't work. McNamara. And there's a timeout on the floor. 14.32 to go in regulation time. We are knotted up. Syracuse 39, Vermont 39. This is the NCAA first round 2005 East Regional from the Centrum in Worcester. So McCroskey to a bound in front of me. No changes for anybody. Warwick and Duel reaches in. I like the anonymity of doing it on Twitch, don't you guys? <laughs> Fourth team foul, third on duel, and McCroskey again will inbound in front of me. 39-39, fourth baseline jumper is good! And Syracuse pulls up by two. It's not like Syracuse has had a lot of scoring outside of fourth. Vermont. Passes it around. TJ. He's going to try for the lead. He wants the three. But stolen by Jerry McNamara. Got a hand in there and ripped it right away. Pace outside. As we go half court. Warwick in the low post. Over Mopajil and Coppenrath. And Hakeem hits it. Top Coppenrath tipped it. And it went down in the wrong basket. And he's going to get the, the old-fashioned three as Mopajila hit him. So Warwick, a 68% free throw shooter, is only 4 of 10. Anonymity, what's that? I get people trying to post links for my Seaver videos. That's nice. No changes for Vermont. And Warwick misses the shot and Duel will get the rebound. So it's a four-point lead for Syracuse. Sorrentine walking it up. Again, they're going to go pick and roll with Coppenrath. Duel to Coppenrath in the paint. And it rolls around and out. And that's a rebound from Rorick. That's his fourth. Syracuse will run the break. Gold Rush pace. And he is trying to run the pace here. Back out to McCroskey. McCroskey in the paint. And that's good. So Syracuse is now up 45-39. UVM needs someone else to get open. They pass it around. 12.28 to go. Coppenrath in the paint. Over fourth. Ten footer. No! Blocked by fourth. Syracuse seems to have solved the Vermont offense. Warwick and they go in the half court here. McNamara will dribble across. Pace, foul line extended right, over to fourth. Does he can take the baseline jumper? He does, no. Duel with the rebound. That's his third. Rebounds are still in favor of Vermont, 26-14. UVM going to run the break. Coppenrath and Sorrentine. Taylor to Sorrentine. Dry, and he's reached in. There's a foul on Pace. And so Vermont will set it up. 11.52 to go. And Syracuse brings in a fresh five. So Wright and Edelin, the guards. D. Wright and Nichols, the forwards. And Roberts at center. And so it's the first time as a unit the starters are going to sit for the orange. Vermont will try to play mismatch here as long as they can. They'll leave him on the floor. Vermont hasn't scored in nearly three minutes. Lopagila passes outside for Sorrentine for the three. He was good and he's in the first half and he hits again. 45-42. It's a three-point game. Edelin, outside dribble. Jumper good. 17-footer, foul line right. 47-42. They're going to feed Duel in the paint. My goodness. Sorrentine in the Duel. Josh. Jumper. Yes. 
They finally go inside and hit 47-44. It's a three-point game. Right. To Edelin. Outside. Ran in a duel, and he lays it off the glass. And good. Is it a foul on duel? And yes, that's the fourth on duel. So Edelin will shoot one. 49-44. So Schneider comes in. Along with Saplicki and McCrory, Sorrentine and Coppenrath will stay on as long as they can. They have 35 of UVM's 44 points. Edelin hits the 3B, and it's 50 to 44. It's a six point lead. 10.33 to go. Timeout on the floor. Syracuse with their largest lead of the game. UVM has got to find an answer. No changes. McCrory crossed the way to inbound it. Soren's Coppenrath. Cross court to Sorrentine. Foul line right. 18 footer. Well, he penetrates and over Edelin and no. Did he get fouled? Yes, by right, his first, and TJ goes to the line for two. That's on J. Wright. 10-15 to go. Sorrentine hits the first. So that's 20 for him. Pace and Warwick come back in for Syracuse. Sorrentine second is good. 50 to 46. The lead is four. Edelin on the point. Over to Warwick. Warwick outside over Coppenrath. And Coppenrath flopped. No call. Taylor comes back to make the block. Who's got it? Warwick got his own rebound back. Now Schneider guarding Warwick. Jumper, no. Right with the rebound for Syracuse. Out to Edelin. They did not get a fresh... Oh, they did get a fresh clock. Outside, Schneider guarding Warwick. Hakeem misses. Schneider with the rebound. Vermont will walk it up. 9.22 to go in the second half. TJ calls the signals. Saplicki... Foul line right, outside on the jumper, no. Pace with the D, Warwick gets his seventh rebound, and they'll walk it up. Syracuse taking their time, under nine to go. Foul called on Roberts, that's an offensive foul. So McCroskey comes in to play the two guard and right as a shooting guard. McNamara's ready to go. Duel with four fouls and Jensen come in the game. Vermont starters have 37 points, and if your name isn't Sorrentine and Coppenrath, you got nothing. Schneider, baseline three. Over Roberts, no. Rebound Roberts. Roberts got in the paint, got it. And I'm sorry, Warwick got the rebound. That's his eighth. And they run the break right with Rorick and Roberts. Three on one. It's just McCrory back. Roberts. And he's called for the double dribble. So McNamara comes in. He's got seven points and seven assists. McCroskey, Wright, Nichols, and Roberts on the floor. For Vermont, Jensen, Saplicki, McCrory, Schneider, and Duell. Hain can come back in when they want. McCrory just on the edge of the paint from Jensen. That um, Jensen with a shot. He scores. It's a two-point game. Syracuse just can't put Vermont away. McNamara. Long three. That's good. Set. Fired. Score. Jerry's got ten. Seven and a half to go. Schneider wants the three. Baseline left. Syracuse man-to-man. -man. Schneider over Roberts. No. 
side of the rim, McNamara or Roberts with the board. That's his fourth. They run the break. McNamara and has to pass it to Wright. Wright penetrates over McCrory and hits. So what was a one-point game is now a seven-point game. 55-48 Syracuse. 7.05 to go. Jensen wants a three. Suplicki back out to Jensen. Right side. And he's got force to call time. And Vermont really pressed to the point where Climbs has to come back in the game. So the starting five are on the floor. Crunch time now. Good defensive game. Vermont held to 40% from the field. And Syracuse has only taken 36 shots to Vermont's 45. 6.46 to go. Mopajila to inbound. Climbs. Baseline jumper. Yes! Finally, somebody scores besides those two. Full court trap for Syracuse. 55-50 the Orange lead. McCroskey over to McNamara. Jerry blocked by Climbs on the three. Can Vermont get a run? And it will roll out of bounds, and the Orangemen keep it. So, Watkins on the floor for the first time at center for Syracuse. Right in on the backcourt. McNamara and Pace are sitting. I'm not sure why. But Warwick, who is the scorer, he's got 18 of Syracuse's 55, is on the floor. And as I said, climbs his basket was the first points for a UVM starter not named Sorrentine and Coppenrath in the game. Warwick guarded by Climes, and that will hit the side of the rim and go out of bounds, and it'll be UVM ball. So crunch time here in Worcester. Mopajil is open on the left side. His 18-footer around the screen. Good! 55-52. It's a three-point game. 5.41 to go. Right. Over to Watkins. Baseline right. Jumper good. 5.20 to go. I'm going to try that again to Mopajila. Sorrentine. Mopajila. Foul line extended. No. Rebound is controlled by Warwick. It's his ninth. Syracuse going to run the break. Two on two. Right. Runs the left side over to Edelin. Edelin penetrates baseline good. 59-52 on the slam. And that took all of seven seconds. And the paint, Coppenrath inside. Pick and roll with Sorrentine over Watkins. Coppenrath lays it up. No. Rebound loose on the floor. But, oh, Watkins with a foul. And TJ finally goes to the line for two. And UVM is now in the bonus, although this is a two-shot foul. So 4.26 to go. TJ, a 76.6% free throw shooter. 16 points, 10 boards. First one, good. It's a six-point game. Coppenrath also has two assists. Starters are now in for the orange. So, my five best versus your five best. Coppenrath's second one is good. So, 59-54. The lead is five. UVM will go with a full court trap. McNamara. Long shot good. That was for three. And it's 62-54. And trying to find the big man, Sorrentine, into Coppenrath, over fourth at the paint, point-blank range, in and out, rebound on the floor. But he's fouled by fourth, and that's his fourth. So four for fourth, who's going to be sitting in the first. Which roughly translates to the rain in Spain is mainly on the plane. So two for Coppenrath. 62-54 Syracuse, 3.39 to go in the game. Taylor misses the first. 
UVM 8 for 13 on the floor from the free throw line. Coppin Rath second, good. 62-55, Syracuse looking to play Michigan State Sunday. McNamara. Vermont in the full court trap. McNamara over to Warwick. His shot, no. Rebound out to Pace at the foul line, however. Five misses in a row for Hakeem. Pace with Hain near the guard. Stolen by Hain. Can they get a fast break? No. Half court for Vermont. 3.09 to go. Sorrentine hurries it. He's going to try the three. Coppenrath on a pick and roll. Back out to TJ. Left side long. And he's fouled by McNamara. And because it's the one and one, it's only a two-shot foul. But TJ's got to hit this first. And now we know. <laughs> and now he'll know how much wood a woodchuck could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. You want me to do that, Scully? And now he'll know how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. You're welcome. Sorrentine misses the freebie. Fourth with the rebound. Oh, Vermont need a net. Syracuse trying to beat the trap. They do. McNamara, 2.41 to go. In the fourth. In the lane over Coppenrath. No. Rebound right back in the hands of fourth. Going to try it again while they set it back up. Fresh 35. Jumper from fourth is good. And that may be it. It's a nine-point game. 2.06 to go. Sorrentine trying to find Coppenrath in the paint. 2-1-2 two -two zone for Syracuse. Jumper from Coppenrath is good. 64-57. The lead is 7. And UVM will call time. They're going to go to the press. <laughs> John is laughing out loud with his headphones on. <sighs> we try. So they're trying to press. McCroskey to inbound it. He's got it underneath the basket. Mopajila with the guard. He shoots, he scores. 66-57. 124 to go. Vermont will walk it up. Mopajila wants a three. Foul line right. Mopajila deep. And no. Rebound fourth. And that's hard off the rim. Coppenrath tipped it. No. Fourth with the board. 106 to go. And fourth, I, what? Well, the chalkboard messed up. <laughs> that was not a 90-footer. His name is not U.S. Smith or whatever the hell it was. So 68-57, Syracuse on the verge of advancing. UVM gave this a good run. And if you had asked me 16 years ago, I think most people would have taken this result. They gave Syracuse a half. Coppenrath in the paint over fourth. Off the glass and no. U.S. Reed. Thanks, John. Rebound by fourth. Over the pace. Syracuse trying to beat the full court press. 30 seconds to go and that goes out of bounds. John, by the way, our latest follower. Where we get a review? Catamounts will have it. And there's seven seconds to go. Executive producer of Retro Sports Network is yours truly. Tribe fan asked for this game, and I think UVM acquitted themselves quite well. Tomorrow night, hockey. It'll be Quebec and Montreal from the Colisee. And then Thursday at noon Eastern, we will do opening day for the Washington Senators in 1969. He believes that's against the Yankees. Ted Williams' first game as a manager, and the 49 replay starts back up with a doubleheader Monday night for July 4th. So there's all that. Haynes dribbling out the clock, and that will do it. Vermont gave him a good one, but Syracuse was the, oh yeah, the better team. And I think, was it Tribe Fan? That's it, that the other Vermont shooters had to get involved. TJ tried to do too much. Sorrentine with 21. 
Four for 12 from three, and, and Coppenrath, nine or three. You can't really read that. Syracuse Warwick, 18, McNamara, 13. A much more balanced attack. We'll read these numbers to you. 28 to 25 rebounds. Well, never mind. So that'll do it. Syracuse outscored Vermont 35-28 in the second half. Coppenrath 21-11 for UVM. Sorrentine 21. Duel with 5 for the Orange. McNamara 13. Warwick 18 and 4th with 7 and 6 rebounds. So not a lot of rebounds. 28-25 in favor of Vermont. And so, and only 27 fouls in the game. So that will do it. The final score in this basketball special, Syracuse 68, Vermont 57. Tomorrow night it's hockey, and Thursday it's Senators baseball from 1969. Until then, I'm Ron Juckett. We'll talk to you the next time. Have a good Tuesday, everybody, and don't drink the green beer. It's not supposed to be green. It comes out as green, too. Scare people that way.